everybody, this is Petey from Bergzer Arcade at BergzerArcade.com and here we are with tutorial number 279 in our Hack and Slash series. So today is the day that we're actually going to start on our spell system. Uh, so let's go ahead, we're going to open up the scripts folder. I do not have anything here about spells just yet, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a folder. And I'm just going to call it spell system. And I'll double click just to get into it. And I'm going to go ahead and create my first script, which will be an interface. And I'm just going to call it iSpell. We'll go ahead, double click it, open it up in Mono Develop. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the collections. Uh, I seem to have lost my cursor. Well, anyway, I'm going to get rid of the collections. And I'm going to go ahead and create my public interface. And I'm going to call it iSpell. This is the base interface for all of our spells. And let me see if I can just tab to get my mouse back. Or my cursor, sorry. There we go. Great. So in this interface, I want to have all of the methods that we need for, well, basically every spell that we're ever, ever going to make in the game. So the first thing I want to put in is, well, every spell is going to have a name. So that's string, name. And I'm going to go ahead and set up a public get and set for it. Uh, make sure you get both semicolons. And the next thing I want to add is the actual the particle effect that's going to be cast for the spell. And this is a game object. And I'm just going to say effect. And again, public get set. And this is why we left the Unity engine up here so we had access to the game object. The next one I want to add is the rarity. And we have this saved as an as enumeration called rarity types. So I'm going to just go rarity. And again, this will be a public getter and setter. After that, I'm going to go with my line of sight. And that'll be public. And the last properties I want to set up have to do with the cooldown timer. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave a space here. Just one little bit of room. And the first one is just going to be the cooldown time. This is the base cooldown time. So float. Let's actually call it base cooldown time. This will be a public get and set. Maybe. There we go. And the next one I want will be a float as well. And this is going to be the cooldown variance. And I'm just going to save, well, yeah, let's just say variance. And again, a public get and set. And again, the next one will be a float. And we're going to say cool down timer. Uh, this is basically how much time is left before our spell is off of cooldown. And we can cast it again. So this, again, was going to be um, a get and a set. Actually, I want this to be a private set. I don't want other classes outside to be able to have access to uh, how much time is left before it cools down. Uh, I don't believe anyway. For now, I'm just going to set it to private. So I'm going to make a note here. Uh, just in case I don't get back to this for a few days, I'll know why I only have a get there. And of course, the last one is going to be, let's just make it a Boolean value. And I'm just going to say on cooldown. And this is just a Boolean value to tell me if it's on cooldown or not. So I don't have to keep checking the timer every frame. I just have to check to see, uh, well, this one is one Boolean value. If it's on cooldown, then you know, don't bother trying to do anything with it. And this would be just like the cooldown timer. We'll have a public get. Uh, but I want to set a private set. Maybe. <laughs> and that should be it for property. So I want to go ahead and add two methods to this now. And the first one is just void cast. All spells need to be cast, right? And I'm going to have another one called void update. Now this is going to act similar to the update that you get from your mono behaviors. It's called every frame. Uh, it basically just um, 
to keep the timers in line. This is what we're going to be using it for. Uh, let me see. There's going to be a few others, but I uh, don't have the spell book completely thought out yet. How I want to add them to the spell book, or even what type of collection I want the spell book to be. So I'm just going to leave a note here. Uh, let's just call it to do. And I'll just put add to spell book. And I think that'll be everything we need for now, at least for the base I spell. And when we come back to the next video, we'll actually start working on specific spells. I think we'll start with the buff first. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.